Ahoy Hoy friends. Today we're teaching you how to do three classic popular tie knots. And today we'll be using this very charming secondhand Scottish wool tie. There are a few rips and tears, but we're just trying to keep it real. We're not fancy. But we filmed this a little different to all the others out there because our brains are all wired so differently. So this is really for people like me who need to mimic something action for action before it sinks in and all makes sense. So today we're not tying ties on a person facing their chest, but from the back. So you'll be able to essentially copy exactly what the model is doing in this video and not have to mirror or flip what you're watching. All right, we're doing the three most popular tie knots, the simple knot, the half Windsor and the full Windsor. So to begin with, as a rule of thumb, the wider part of the tie, where the tipping is, will always sit longer on you than the thinner part or tail. The wide end should sit just more than halfway down your chest, give or take, depending on your body and depending on the tie length. Okay, here we go. So the simple knot, take the wide end, cross it on top of the narrow side. Keep holding it loop it all the way around. So a complete 360, so you're getting back to where you just were. Still holding the wider side, bring it behind and pull it down through the loop in the front. I'm gonna show you this quickly from the front so you can see it both ways and it just makes complete sense. Tighten the tie and you're ready to hit the town. Moving on, the half Windsor. So the half Windsor is more of a smart, casual look. This is essentially just one more step than the last one, but looks a bit fancier. So again, take hold of the wide end, cross it on top of the narrow side. Then pull it behind the cross and loop it through the gap, pulling it toward the left, as you can see here. Then do a complete 360, start from behind the knot all the way to the front and then to the left hand side again. Bring it up and then down the loop in the middle. And voila, adjust, tighten, do what you need to, you're ready to go. Okay, so now for the full Windsor, the official formal look. This one is a little trickier, but we'll go slow. Essentially what you're doing is creating two loops, one on the left and one on the right. So this is the first loop, okay? Take the wider side, move it behind and loop it through the gap here in the neck. And this is where the second loop comes in, okay? Take it behind the center of the tie so that it's now on the right hand side before looping it through the gap in the front and pulling it to the right again. Now, bring it around the front and back to take it through the gap here in the neck and then down the loop in the front. Isn't it bloody beautiful? We really, really hope this helps simplify it. Again, for brains who are kind of wired to just watch something and do exactly what they're seeing. But we just figured that it's much simpler to watch it from this perspective, kind of like there's an invisible person standing um, in front of this tie. Please let us know if you did find it helpful. Subscribe to Happy's channels and we're more than open to new suggestions for content, so hit us up. All right, everyone, have fun and look sharp.